Hello, my friends. I'm Pierre. So I was asking myself, is there such a thing as an underground art movement? Now, if you go into any search engine and you type in underground art, you will fall on a lot of rappers. But in the painting world, does that really exist? Now, I know at the end of the 19th century, there were quite a few underground art movements. There was the Impressionist, those who brought color into the dull life of black and grays. And then they were followed by the Nabi, the school of Gauguin, that used flats and black outlines influenced by Japanese art. And then after that, you had the Fauve, the school by Matisse, using bright colors, followed again by the Cubist, who totally broke down what beauty was and made it an intellectual appreciation rather than a visual one. And they were followed by the Surrealist. And after the Surrealist, we had conceptual art. So we are in the Western world, one of the most tolerant areas on the planet. And of course, once in a while, you will still have a little controversy because everything has been done. Conceptual art opened up, everything was permitted, except maybe a little bit of controversy here and there when you had an artwork of someone peeing on Jesus Christ, for example. But basically, everything has been done. So, is that really an underground movement? No, not really. Because an underground movement, basically nobody would know about it, and the artists themselves would keep a low profile. That's why they're underground. So that leads me to the artistic squat movement. Now that's truly an underground movement known as squat, a combination of two words, squat and art. They are also branded as art rebels and art outlaws. Now the artistic squat movement came to exist because of the high prices for renting studio spaces. So those artists, including myself, have taken over buildings that were either empty, either going to be sold or torn down, and we gave them a second life by turning them back into studios. Now that movement started in the 1980s. And to do that, to be able to invest empty buildings and turning them back into studios, you have to have a special character. You have to have balls. You have to be a warrior deep inside because it's a defiant attitude. I mean, after all, it touches private property and you have to be willing to face the police and maybe for a short period of time, even going to jail. Why would you be so defiant? Well, because you need a place to work. You need a place to create. If you're a musician and you want to rehearse with friends, where do you go? If you have a theater troupe, where do you practice? So the artistic squat movement answers all these questions. So there's a very high price to pay for that defiant attitude, is that the artists in that movement are shunned by the gallerist because it touches private property. And we know the rich who buy art are the ones that own that property. So many artists that are part of this movement have been ostracized by art galleries, no matter how good they are. Take me, for example, the awesome painter that you know by following me every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on YouTube, where I paint live from my studio. Well, I've been living in Nice, France for the last 20 years, I opened up an artistic squat called the Pigeonnier, which is one of the coolest and hippest places in Nice, and we've been in existence for 15 years. Yet, I cannot get an art show in any of the normal galleries. And that goes for all my friends that are a part of this movement. So what do we do? Well, it's very simple. We have learned to be independent, and to survive by opening our own art galleries. So, we have been able to survive once again, also knowing that this movement exists in many other countries in Europe, 
in Switzerland, Holland, Germany, Italy, Spain. They are all over, and we are not alone. And thanks to the networks that exist today through the Internet, we communicate, we share, we do have exchange programs with many of these other squarts. So there you have it, my friends. There is the last underground art movement around Europe. And I will say, leave your comments down below. Go to the websites you see down below. Learn more about it. It's awesome. And until next time, I will say, ciao, mes amis.